Follow me in my journey and build a powerful team. Well, let's call a very different animal now. The 
bear is a powerful ally that will help me during challenging combat. He is also a very fast and friendly mount, which is quite handy to travel across the vast and seamless world of wild. finally reached the sacred location where I will be able to summon the snake divinity in order to save my the poison the poison member Hi, I'm Kevin Scarf. I'm the marketing director on last year. Last year is an asymmetrical multiplayer horror game where one killer has to hunt down a group of teenagers. I'm playing as the Slasher, one of three playable killers that ships with the game. The game is set on Halloween night in 1996. We've been meticulously crafting a universe that draws you in and puts you in the center of your own 90s horror film. Survivors can actually fight back with weapons, so being the killer means you need to be smart and creative with how you attack your victims. One of the best ways to do this is with Predator Mode. This lets the killer unspawn and turn invisible at any time. The killer can then move extremely fast, completely invisible to the other players, and use this to plan the perfect ambush or toy with the survivors. To spawn in or out, the killer has to be out of sight or use the environment as a spawn point. There's a couple of survivors now. It looks like Chad and Troy. They might actually have weapons already, so it could be risky to try and attack two people head on. What I'll do is unspawn and look before I plan my attack. First, I'll we'll place a trap here. Build defenses around the power collector because enemies will attack it when you activate it.
Now, we will show you some techniques which may come handy when playing the game and building some more advanced stuff. Let's start with the building block catalog. We already showed you six blocks, but these are just a few of the many you can use. Just press B and take a look around. To use a block, just drag and drop it down to your hotbar with the left mouse button. You can also do that with a double that means click. the block doesn't collide with anything and is safe to place. If it is yellow, the block collides with the terrain. You can still place it, but know that it will be stuck in the ground. Red means that it cannot be placed because it collides with other objects. The terrain and your surroundings are fully destructible and can be shaped pretty much to your imagination. For this purpose, you have two tools hidden under the T key. The drill is best used to remove rocks and ground and the cutter is for trees and bushes. Press T again to cycle through them. To hide the tools, press H. This also works for blocks. And the last thing, if it gets too dark, you can press F for flashlight. We hope this guide contains everything you'll need while playing Planet Nomads Alpha. Have fun with it and please, let us know in the comments your honest opinion about the game and its mechanics. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel and see you next time Nomads. Strategizing your day by dividing the responsibilities between players. Throughout the game, players will be able to complete different quests, both to progress the story and strengthen your odds of survival. These will bring you unexpected outcomes, invaluably helpful rewards, and answers to questions you wouldn't dare ask. In the Wild Eight, a huge, procedurally generated open world awaits you to explore. The endless snowy forest conceals a vast array of interesting locations, secrets, cameos, and other easter eggs hidden throughout the game. When we started building the world of the Wild Eight, we asked ourselves all kinds of questions. What sort of place is this? What sort of animals inhabit this harsh land? What plants could survive this weather? What mysteries could be concealed under the snow and behind our characters? Now we have an enormous, fleshed-out world with its own rules, mysteries, dangers, and history. The only question left is what will the player bring to our game? Players can choose one of eight unique characters, each with individual abilities and captivating backstories that may at first be wretched in shadow. One of the characters can create medical items much faster than others. Others excel in physical abilities, some in agile feats, others are keen learners and acquire skills at a faster rate. All of these things and more after release await you in the wild lands.
As you move around the caves and tunnels that these creatures inhabit, you'll see what humans have done to your kind over the years. Sneak to safety. Now, one of the things about being a young creature is that you're, you can crawl into spaces that no human could follow. Now this huge cave with the mysterious tree is one of the last few places of refuge in the world for creatures like you. So that's the world through the eyes of a young creature, running away from even the weakest human. Now we're going to go forward in time and see the world through the eyes of a larger, more powerful adolescent creature and see what they're capable of doing. Ah, 